What's up y'all? So today I'm gonna do my chicken and biscuits. It's really simple to do. You just need a rotisserie chicken, some of these mixed vegetables. This is a pan, which is 12 ounces, a can of cream of chicken. You can use the Walmart brand too if you'd like. And then basically the ingredients for two ingredient dough plus butter and baking powder. All right, then you just start dumping things into a bowl. So that's the vegetables, the cream of chicken. I put a little bit of parsley. Put some of this onion, this uh, dehydrated onion. Put real onion if you like. And some garlic powder. So Walmart today only had this lemon pepper chicken. So we're gonna try it, but I think it should be all right. Um, I think you can use any kind of chicken, lemon pepper. I actually like that flavor, so it should be fine. I'm going to take the breasts out of there, shred them up, add it to that mixture, and then mix it all up together. So I got that all mixed together. I sprayed down a pie dish real good with Pam. And I'm just going to pour that into there. Um, and then we're going to do the, the biscuit crust next. Um, but don't be worried about the large piece of the chicken in there. Once you actually mix it all together, it should shred up for you. So actually meant to put some pepper in it too so i'll just do that now no big deal use both sides of that chicken breast all the dark meat still in there i'm going to mix up the biscuit dough now um, the butter i put in the freezer because the butter should be super super cold mix up the flour greek yogurt and baking powder first with a little bit of salt um, do that, then add the butter in last to prevent it from melting as much as possible. So I do all of my measurements in grams, not in spoons or cups or any of that. So I apologize if anybody's having trouble following along, but 120 grams of flour first. I'm gonna put five grams of baking powder, then a couple of shakes of salt. I don't put much, so just what the hell is that? I don't know. Um, and then 100 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt. All right, so once you combine the flour, salt, baking powder, and Greek yogurt and mix it all together, it's gonna be clumpy like that. You need to add a little bit of cashew milk. Well, you could use any milk. I use cashew milk because it's the lowest in points and it's the creamiest of the dairy-free milks in my opinion. All right, so you just add, I eyeball this, but that's, that's 50 grams, I think, let's see. Yeah, so 50 grams of cashew milk was enough. That's pretty much the consistency you want. And then I'm gonna cut up this butter into small little pea sizes um, and put it in there and try to separate that butter as much as possible. See how I did that? You can also use a grater. I've seen people use a grater. Mix that into there. Um, try not to, to mess with it too much so that the butter doesn't um, kind of disassemble or I don't know if that's a good word for it but the butter you want to melt when it hits the oven so that it creates that crispy bombness um, so we'll see all right now we're just gonna take that put it on top of there it's gonna be like a messy gloopy process but when it cooks it'll all even out trust me you see the fancy kitchen tool I'm using, right? I use this, <laughs> I use this to mix up the whole biscuit and you don't need anything crazy. You don't need a mixer or nothing. Then you just spread that on there and then kind of just even it out with a spoon. And then it goes into a 400 degree oven for 45 minutes. Look at that, after 45 minutes. So you're probably gonna wanna let that cool for a bit. I would say between 40 and 45 minutes. Start keeping an eye on it after like 35 minutes. Uh, that whole pan, the whole cake, uh, pie pan, pie, whatever the hell that's called, um, is 24 points. One fourth of it is a great serving. So six points for a serving of that. 